Hello everyone and welcome back. First of all, I just wanted to thank you guys so, so much for all of the love on the 24 hour bracelet challenge. It was a little bit of a struggle, but I'm just so glad that you guys are enjoying it. And if you haven't watched it yet, I will leave the link in the description below. Now, moving on to today's video, I had a couple people asking me how to turn JPEG images into alpha patterns. So I thought I would sit down and show you guys a little bit of a tutorial on how I've done it in the past and how I still do it. It to this day. <laughs> and before we get started, be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Okay, let's go. So the first thing you're going to want to do is find a JPEG image that you want to turn into an alpha pattern. So in this case, we're going to be working with an Xbox logo. I wasn't really happy with any of the logos I was finding online. So that's why I thought I would just make my own. So let's just go and find one that we like. So I've actually already made this pattern before and I used this JPEG image here. So you're just gonna go ahead, right click and save image as, and then you can just save it wherever you need to. In this case, it'll go in my YouTube folder under Xbox logo, keep everything organized. And of course, you're just gonna wanna make sure it's saved as a JPEG just for simplicity's sake. So you can just go ahead and hit save. I already have one saved here, so I'm not going to save it again. Now I find the easiest platform to use uh, when turning a JPEG image into an alpha pattern is bracelet.book.com, which I'm sure is a platform we are all familiar with as bracelet makers. So in order to do this, we're just gonna head over to bracelet book and over this orange banner, you're going to see your username. Just hover your mouse over it and select create patterns. And then you're going to see that you have two options. You can create a normal pattern or an alpha pattern. And of course, in this case, we're going to create an alpha pattern. So just go ahead and hit new pattern. And then you're gonna see you have some choices at the top. It's gonna to say draw alpha, write alpha, alpha from image or alpha from font. So we want to make an alpha pattern from an image. So we are going to select that. So now you can see I can upload uh, an image that's saved from my computer. I can choose the number of colors I wanna use and I can also choose how big I want this pattern to be. It also gives me the choice to preserve hard edges or trim the image and I don't really like it to trim my image. So I always uh, deselect that. So I'm just going to hit choose file and I'm going to find the Xbox logo that is saved onto my computer and hit open. So I can tell by looking at this picture, I'm really only going to want to use two colors when I'm making this pattern and that's green and white. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just gonna go ahead and select three. And then moving along to the size of the pattern, I made a Nintendo 64 logo about a week ago and that pattern was about 32 by 32. Now comparing this pattern to the JPEG image that I'm uploading, I can see that there's much more negative space in this picture than there is in the N64 logo. So I know that uh, these dimensions that I have right here, the 50 by 50 are not going to work. That's just going to give me a square and it's not going to give me the best detail in my image. So a lot of this is trial and error. I honestly just kind of keep changing the width and height until it gives me a good amount of detail. But for the sake of this tutorial, um, I'm just gonna hit save and test just so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So as you can see, this gives me a very plain image and a lot of my width is being taken up by this negative space here, which I'm going to end up deleting anyways. So here's my logic. I'm going to make the max width 100 because since I want the actual logo to be about 30 blocks or 30 pixels, whatever you want to call it, that's about one third of this whole image. So let's just see what happens when I save and test it now. So it's going to ask you to re-upload your file. So we can just go ahead and reselect that. So let's just save and test. So now you can see it's giving me a much clearer image of the logo, and this is a much better base to work off of. But if you look closely, you can see that this still isn't exactly symmetrical, and I'm also using uh, two different shades of green here. I don't know if you can see it, but there is a bit of a darker green going along the outside of the logo here. And this is why I like to use bracelet book when creating alpha patterns, because after I upload my image, I can actually go back up to my headers and select draw alpha. 
And this allows me to work closely with the knots and I can see all the colors that I'm using and I can really just get in here and edit this to look much better. So the first thing I'm going to do is eliminate all of this negative space so it's roughly the same size as the Nintendo 64 pattern. And to do that, I'm just going to hit this little minus on all sides of the pattern. So as you can see, our pattern is getting smaller and our dimensions are also getting smaller. I just left space for two knots on all sides of the logo. So we have our square, it's about 33 by 32, which is exactly what we need to match our Nintendo 64 logo. So since I said I wanted to use three different colors, uh, it's actually given me two different shades of green here that are very similar to each other. And this is going to give you a lot of problems if you ever wanna upload a pattern to this website. So the first thing we're going to do is eliminate that. And I find the easiest way to do that is to select a color that is very obviously uh, not the same color as what you already have. So let's just go with blue. So once I have my blue selected, I'm also going to select uh, the fill option. And I'm just gonna go ahead and tap and then all of the colors that are uh, together that are the same shade are going to turn blue. So I'm just gonna keep doing that all throughout uh, the green. And I find this is just the easiest way to tell shades apart that are very similar to each other. And then I am just going to leave one green block so that I can select it up here. And now when I hit fill on this blue, everything is just going to turn green. And now I only have green and white. And I am just going to brighten up this white a little bit. And there we go. So that's the reason why I selected three colors. I just wanted to show you guys um, how I find those like weird shades uh, that are hiding in your pattern somewhere is just select a color that is totally different uh, from the colors that you're trying to use and it'll just save you a headache in the long run. So looking a bit more closely at this pattern, we can see it's not totally symmetrical. See, there's only like two blocks here and one block here, and it looks like this side is uh, not coming in as far as this side, and down here it's like not symmetrical. So then you just wanna go in uh, knot by knot, just make sure you come over to your fill type and hit knot again. And then I have my white selected, I can just go in and fix all of the little spots that I want just a little bit more detail, or I just want it to actually, you know, match and be the same. So now that I've made my logo a little bit more symmetrical, it looks good. I'm just gonna hit save. And then once you're happy with your pattern, obviously you can just go ahead and make it. And you will find that like 99% of the time you will have to come over to the draw alpha and just kind of fix up a few things yourself because it, it can't get it perfect. And there you go, you have successfully turned your JPEG image into an alpha pattern. And if you come back over to the main alpha tab at the top here, you can actually put in your um, keywords, your review notes, you can submit it to the site if you want to. Um, I don't really upload my patterns to bracelet book anymore, but I will submit this one to the website just in case any of you guys want to use it. I know, so I might just put something in here like Xbox logo, video game, whatever. Yeah, good enough. And we're just gonna say this pattern's not copyrighted because we made it ourselves. And we're just gonna hit submit to the site. And just be aware that after you submit it, you will not have access to it until it has been reviewed and is either accepted or declined. So if this pattern is accepted onto bracelet book, I will post the pattern in the description below with a link. So here are a few other patterns I've made using this method. 
It's really handy for any kind of fonts that you want to use. You can always just screenshot um, a little snippet of like a, a sentence or a word or a name. I've also used a similar method to this to make a portrait. And I know that this particular tutorial was with a very simple image. So if you want me to make another one where we sit down and make another pattern with uh, maybe an image that's a little bit more detailed and uses a bit more color, then I can definitely sit down and make another video for you guys. Anyways, guys, that's all I have for you today. And I hope this was helpful to some of you, especially the ones uh, that were asking for this video. And again, be sure to subscribe, like, comment, all those fun things. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye.